What good is your expensive smartphone without applications to run on said smartphone? In this video, I'm going to give you five applications that I absolutely adore that I use all the time. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe you haven't, maybe they can make your life a little bit better. We're going to start off with one that I've actually talked about on the channel before in the past called Quick Cursor one-handed mode. So many of us these days now use phones that are gigantic, whether they're gigantic on their cover display or they are gigantic as they open up into a very large screen like this. And a lot of them do have their own one-handed mode. Some don't, like the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Very, very strange that that does not exist on that device. In fact, that's how I got started using this application. I needed a way to reach the top of that cover display without having to reshift my grip all the time so I came across this application. Let me show you how this works. It's quite customizable. So you have all these different sliders here. This position one is the most important one and you're going to kind of need to do this twice if you're using a folding phone. Use it on the cover display. Do it again on the inner display. But as I move this around you see these areas here. This is the trigger zone and then in front of that is the zone which they are calling the tracker area. And basically what happens is if I swipe in in that trigger area, this is what's going to happen. You can see where my thumb is at the bottom, and you can see this little cursor scrolling around at the top of the screen. So let's go back. Boom, there you go. Let's pull down my notification shape by going all the way to the top. There you go, easy. If I go back to my home screen, I can swipe in, grab my cursor, come up here to, let's check the weather. There that is. It's going to load up just fine. You can come in from the other side. Look, this isn't super complicated. It just allows me to reach the top of the screen really, really easily. I don't need to shift my grip. All I have to do is that right there. I use this all the time. The only adjustment that you really have to make is you have to kind of get into the habit of understanding that up here is going to go back and down here is going to be your quick cursor. Once you learn that, very straightforward. Absolutely love this application. Next up is a weather radar app called My Radar. Now, this is the pro version, which is $5.99. There is a free version, which does have ads within it, but this is the version that I've had for a very, very long time. There are a ton of features, and I really enjoy this one as someone who does live in an area that does have some severe weather in the United States. If we take a look at it here, we have a full view of the country, which is always nice to see. Very, very clear and easy to navigate. If things look a little bit laggy, keep in mind that's not actually what's happening. If I show you on the phone itself, it's totally fine. It's the capture that's happening, so just ignore that. I love that we have the animation slider down here, which will actually allow us to scroll back and forth. But if we jump into this icon down here, which shows all these different layers, there is so much. You can have the radar. You can also have satellite view if you want to actually just see what the clouds are doing right now. You can see that view there. And again, the animation slider works just fine. So you can kind of see what's going on that way. You've got a temperature map. You even have a radar forecast, which is going to attempt to use one of the radar models to show you what might happen in the future. So here we are currently, and you can actually scroll past that. And again, it's trying to predict what's going to happen. But as you can see, there's so much you can do. Let's turn on our fronts. There's a hurricane tracker. There's earthquakes, wildfires, power outages. And there is just so much within my radar. And because of that, it is, it is extremely useful to me, again, as a weather nerd. But if we want to kick our weather nerdum into overdrive, there's another radar app that we need to quickly talk about. This one is called Radar Omega, and it is $8.99. That is pretty steep, but it is a one-time purchase, just like my radar. But this is literally the radar app that a lot of storm chasers use. It is kind of complicated to use at first, but man, once you get used to having it, it is absolutely great. So right now, there's not a whole lot of severe weather or anything strange going on. So we'll just use what we have here, northern uh, Kentucky into Ohio. And as you can see... You have all these little dots scattered around the screen, and these are your independent individual radar stations. So rather than giving you the full country view, you have to pick individual radar stations. Now this is a little bit annoying, but it's actually going to get you really nice granular detail. If we zoom in here and we look at this area right here, this is high res reflectivity. If we click on this, we can see all of these different products that we can switch to. So let's say we want to see the velocity, which way and how fast 
this storm is moving. If we click on that, now we can see exactly that. This is not a particularly fast moving storm, just some like morning showers, no big deal. But if you were looking for something like a tornado, you would be able to see that with this view because you'll be able to see what's called a velocity couplet. Just as a quick example of this here on Wikipedia, that's a velocity couplet where you have two different colors sort of coupled together. What that tells you is you've got wind blowing in one direction and another wind blowing in another direction. What does that mean? That means that there is rotation. And with this application, you can really drill down and find this level of granular detail. You can go to vertically integrated liquid and there's probably gonna be nothing because this storm is not very strong, but if there was, uh, a stronger storm here. Maybe you could tell where the hail was going to be with something like this. Again, this is like high-end weather nerdery, but it's a lot of fun to use and it can be very, very useful depending on where you live. The next application is called KDE Connect and it can do a lot of stuff, but I literally use it for one thing and that is to sync my clipboard for my computer to my phone. So with this application, what you're gonna do is you're going to install it on your phone first, and then you're going to go to their website, which is kdeconnect.kde.org, and you should find a download link there. The application itself is very lightweight. You can see it right here in my taskbar. If I bring this over, let me shrink it so it'll fit in the space that I have for it. If I bring this over here, you can see my Find in 5, my Galaxy S25 Ultra are both connected. And then from there, if we jump over to the phone, you can see that there are actually quite a few cool things that you can do here, like multimedia control of your computer from your phone. But again, the thing that I do primarily is sync my clipboard. So let me do this really quickly. I'm going to my own website on the other monitor and I'm gonna copy some text. I've highlighted it, I'm pressing Control C right now and there it is on my computer, or on my phone rather, that fast. I use this all the time. Copy it on the computer, boom, there it is on your phone. And it can go the other way. I can actually copy text on my phone, open up the application and send my clipboard and then my computer will have it. For the multimedia control, here is my phone screen. That is my computer. So I'm, I'm, it looks like this is all happening on one screen, but you got to think about it like this. This is my phone screen. You can see I can control the media playing on my computer from my phone. But you can see it, guys. There's a whole lot more stuff that you can do. I know what I use it for, but you can use it for a whole lot more than that. KDE Connect is free. It is lightweight, and it's awesome. And last but not least, we have CX File Explorer. This is my file browsing app of choice for Android, and there's one really, really big reason, something that I use all the time in conjunction with my Windows PC. So obviously it's a perfectly, you know, acceptable standard file browser. I can, you know, go through all the different folders on my device. I can go to my downloads. I can actually go to my apps and uninstall apps. Like here's a cool thing. Maybe there's a bunch of apps that you want to quickly uninstall. You can just tick a bunch of boxes and then click on uninstall and it will go through and rapid fire uninstall them. That's pretty cool. You can also back up your applications through that screen. Under library, you have some sort of shortcuts to different cat categories of applications, but network is where it's at for me. I have been utilizing sort of a network file sharing system that's built into Windows for a long time, and this links in with that. This is my computer. If I jump over here to my computer and I right click on a folder and I click on properties and I go to sharing, I can fill out the stuff in this and I can fill out the stuff in this. I'm not going to show you because I think that my email address will pop up in there and I don't want to do any additional editing. And once that's done, if I come over here and I do new location and I do remote local network, my computer will pop up. I can click on it. I can sign in. That was actually my wife's computer popping up. And from there, I can just see all of my shared folders. So like here's my download folder. And if I jump over, you can see that is exactly what is in my download folder. And it's actually an application. It's an app I've been developing for the last couple of months. And if I want to install it, I can even install it from here. It's going to download it directly from my computer over the network and then install that application. But what I use it for all the time is if I shoot B-roll with a phone, maybe I'm over here sort of, you know, at this desk or something and I shoot some B-roll, I will share that B-roll, select CX File Explorer, select my computer, go to the folder where my video files are, this is where I'm recording to right now, and then I will just hit it. And half the time, if it's like a 15 second clip, by the time I've sat down in this chair, it's in that folder. Now, yes, you could use Quick Share or AirDrop or something like that if you're an iPhone user to do something similar. But what I love about this is you can pick exactly what folder 
you want it to go in because sometimes I'm not just throwing it straight into my OBS filmed folder. Sometimes it's under future projects because it's something that I'm slowly working on so I can throw it into there. Like when I was doing the Oppo Find in 5 review, there's all the files from that and I was just slowly tossing them into that folder over time so that they would be there. It's just a really nice app. Like I said, I've been using it for years. It's an instant install. As soon as I get a new phone, it's on there. So guys, those are five apps that I use all the time. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Give me some hidden gems, something that you use that maybe you don't think that many people know about. I might make this like a video series, just periodically highlighting applications that I've come across that I think are quite good that more people would benefit from knowing about. So help me out with that project in those comments down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.